going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. See how far we can get today. Okay, two Jade Light Rangers, two Cast Downs, and nothing really doing. Uh, I am on the draw. My opponent did mulligan down to six. And they're playing blue, so I might be okay here. Would like another Swamp. Or equivalent. Um, yep. I can cast something down, but something tells me they're not really going to be playing creatures. Probably not. We're gonna play Jade Light Ranger. We're gonna see what's on top. It's a Doom Whisperer. It stays. Uh, I don't have access to that second black mana just yet, but we can probably make do with that. Thought Erasure in my Vivian. Probably. No, my Jade Light Ranger. Okay, that was probably the good choice. Uh, let's play the Forest. And now we are going to actually hopefully draw that um, other mana. So that tells me they probably have a counter for the Viv. Thought Erasure, they get to craft and get rid of whatever they want. So it's either going to be the Viv or the Whisperer. They're not too afraid of the Viv. They've got a counter. Uh, hopefully I draw a Swamp in either case. Forest is fine. We can play Viv counter. Yep. There's Spell Pierce. Can't pay two. Alright, the opponent is still on the three turn clock until they, unless they uh, get something exciting. Uh, if I draw a finality, I can start getting back to some of these things, but for now we'll have to take the overgrown tomb and we're going to swing in. Uh, opponent can kill the creature. Frask is contempt. That's fine. Keep going. Okay, I'm up to six mana, so I'm actually going to save the uh, forest for discard fodder, since I am up against... Um, Discard. I have the two mana, the two black mana that I need. I'm gonna play the Wild Growth Walker. Counter. Cool. Good. They basically wasted that counter because there wasn't anything exciting gonna happen with it. And they knew that too because they could see almost all. The, I think they could see all the cards in my hand except for this forest here. Okay, good. Here's the Seeker Squire. Counter? No, no counter this time. That means probably they're out. I'll take a Golgari clean off the top. That seems good. Okay, Thief of Sanity. We're just going to make that really easy to cast it down. If they want, they can, but they know I have two cast downs and a cast is contempt, so almost no point playing it. There's the Golgari Queen. We're going to swing. Countering the Golgari Queen. Okay, Sinister Sabotage. You only have so many of those. Seems okay. Okay, did not want the Golden Demise because it doesn't work against the Squire. Okay, my turn. That works. Uh, we're going to bring in... We're at six. I don't feel bad about that. I'm going to swing. Bone is hunger. Okay. I'll take a carny tea, please. No. I'll 
I'll take Carney P, please. Counter. No. That's fine. Moment of craving. Alright, I draw a card. Fine by me, guess we want to step closer to Carney T, wherever he happens to be. That's fine, I'll play a forest. Hey, there's fine finality, that seems good. Um, I'm gonna bring back the Doom Whisperer and the Midnight Reaper. This is a good opportunity for the opponent to counter. Chose not to, probably because they didn't have it. Um, gonna bring in the Golgari Guildgate and the Doom Whisperer. One of the main reasons I'm keeping all these cards in hand is um, intimidation, <laughs> actually. I'm trying to just intimidate my opponent to make them think that they have a lot less um, card advantage than I do, which in this case is the truth. I'm going to try to sculpt the top of my deck. I really would like uh, a Carnage Tyrant here. Jade, uh, Jade Light Ranger is going to be okay, I guess. So that's fine. Alright, I got a couple turns before my opponent has their own Doom Whisperer now. Sure. Alright, let's bring in the Reaper and the Ranger. Let's see what we got on top. Cardi T, you don't say. I'll take it. Okay, opponent's gonna want to do something about that. And they're gonna want to do something about that soon. You can have this one. Search for his Kanta. That's not too exciting. Okay, we definitely, uh, definitely play the Carnage Tyrant because it can't be countered and my opponent could thought erase. We definitely play the Carnage Tyrant. I'm gonna drop in a forest just in case we need that mana, but we're gonna swing in for seven. Pretty sure this game's ours, but there's no guarantees yet. Okay, we could bring the Carnage Tyrant back to my hand. And then discard a card. It's another good reason to hold on to those cards. Now, with a Thought Erasure, um, they could make me discard the Carnage Tyrant. It's a bit of a concern. But they'd also have to deal with my board state here, which could easily be done with by uh, getting my Frascas. No, by getting my... Um, easily be done by getting my... Doom Whisperer from my graveyard, which they're probably going to do. Which is fine, they can do that. Oh, wow, they're going to give Frasca. Frasca can kill either of these. Sure, that seems good. I don't feel bad about that. That's actually a good choice. I get a card. Uh, Chupacabra is not super useful in this matchup. Opponent's going to want to counter my Vraska's Contempt though. Interesting. I would definitely have gotten the uh, Doom Whisperer. There's a Disinformation Campaign. Sure. That's why I've been hoarding these cards. it a lot harder to take away something I need. Okay, we're gonna bring in the Carnage, uh, Sadness. The Carnage Sadness. No, not too Sadness. Okay, we're gonna bring in the Carnage Tyrant. Can't counter that. We're gonna bring in Vraska's Contempt. We're gonna Contempt for Vraska. Pretty much have to counter that. Um, Vraska can't do anything too exciting this upcoming turn, so I'm actually gonna swing for four. In case they drop in a blocker, I want to be as close as I can to that win. The game's probably mine, but there's no guarantee. They could potentially make me discard those last two cards in my hand. Sure, can't contempt the big guy though. 
brings you up to five. You can gain a life and draw a card, that makes sense. Okay. Up to six. Six isn't enough, because I have seven. Uh, you're gonna have to counter something. What do you got? Three meter? Sure. Okay, so my opponent, that's a concession, that's all it took. Alrighty, we're doing good so far, we're in here. Oof, that was hard, that was rough. But we made it. We did it. Let's keep ditting it again. Okay, so we have two um, two black mana. We do have an elves here, walker, and a bunch of fuel. I'm actually okay with this starting hand. I think I would like to draw another source of green mana. Um, but otherwise, uh, since we're on the draw, we have that opportunity. I'm not feeling bad about this. We're gonna see how far we can go, but this is where we are. Okay, opponent's playing red. Red is fast, real fast. I'm gonna pay the two life. Try to bring in the elves. Opponent is going to want to kill the elves, which is fine. The more things that they use on my creatures, the fewer things they have for my face. No blocks. Gonna make you work for it. Gotta spend cards if you wanna get value, my friend. You gotta get value, you gotta spend cards. Right. Here we're gonna bring in the um Merfolk Branch Walker because I sense a lava coil. And what I would like to do is I play the walker and the branch walker in the same uh, swoop just to get it. It's still in lava coil range there, but they spend the Lava Quill on one of these two. There's a Chupacabra. We're okay there. I don't mind swinging in for one here. They can kill the Elves at this point. We're shocked, that guy. Uh, yeah, I'll swing in. Shock is fine. Risk factor, I'll take the damage. Basically plays them out of, of tempo entirely. Um, Swamp and Chupacabra here, I think. Gives me an opportunity to draw another land to get the walker into the ranger. They could risk factor again, but they're not getting the cards. Still not getting the cards. Um, Alright, they're basically played out. They've got risk factors and not, not really a whole lot else. So I'm, I'm comfortable with the walker here, followed by the branch walker. Move mm, can stay. I'll swing for two. Ten, ten life puts me a bit out of their reach, I think, and when I, if I draw six, if I gain six life next turn, that's probably going to be scoops. So they have to lava coil my walker here, which puts them even further behind on tempo. Risk, another risk factor, no thanks, I'll take the damage. Yeah, and they're probably thinking that that's okay, but I'm about to gain six more life, and that's probably going to be scoops. Yeah, there's six more life on the top of my deck. Scoops. They've got three risk factors right just there, but I'm at 12. 12 is not accessible to that deck. Are my Steamkin? No, they don't have it. Flame of Keld? Okay. Yeah, they don't even have anything close to having it. Now I'm at 18. 
15. Bring this in. Cast down the Steamkin in game. Okay. That's cool. All right, let's jump back in. Shade Light Ranger, two Vraska's contempts, a find and finality. Overgrown tomb. Okay, Lane and Vanguard. First time I've seen that deck in a little while. We're gonna bring in the memorial to Folly. Uh, we're going to be bringing in the Woodland Cemetery here. That is a yep. Double check. Here's the Jade Light Ranger. Jade Light Ranger. Carney T. I don't mind. Okay, Johnny's Pride Mate will probably want to take that down soon. Here's a Guild Gate. No swing. Hey, look, it's a lane and war leader. Now we're starting to have some good options for find slash finality, specifically the finality portion. We're going to Fraska's Contempt uh, this one, actually, so it stops getting bigger. No attacks. Land and War Leader can start pumping out cats, but I'm not really concerned too much. Land and Vanguard. That's okay. The more dudes they pop out, the better I better tempo I get with finality. I drew the land, it comes into play, we finality here in game. Boom. Scoops. Excellent binding my Jade Light Ranger, that's real weak. That scoops. Scoops yet. Ixalan's binding can't target the Carnage Tyrant, so scoops. Alrighty, we got there.
Sometimes you got it, sometimes you don't. And that's the way it is. This, too, is acceptable. Let's jump right back in. We can, uh, we can take this home today. Elves, cast down, contempt, read. I'd like to have something more to ramp into, but this is acceptable for now. as well is this the mirror match it could be I'm gonna have this uh, in here just so I can cast down something if I need to actually you know what I'm gonna cast down the elves we're going to take away any advantage they thought they were going to get I'm gonna bring in the tomb tapped we're gonna play the branch walker see if we get on top it's another land That'd be good, Viv. Good for Viv. Elves, yay. Um, no. <laughs> Elves is fantastic in the starting hand. After that, I'm a bit skeptical. Okay, Midnight Reaper. Cool. Uh, we could be really aggressive here and uh, contempt it. And I feel like I'm supposed to be aggressive here. No card advantage for you swinging for three. Okay, there's a branch walker. There's a wild growth walker. Bunged it in, no need at this point. Okay, there's my uh, woodland cemetery. We're gonna bring in Viv. So come to me. Uh, Carnage Tyrant seems good. No attacks, gotta protect Viv. No options. Okay, double Carney T, they don't know that I have that second one. The wilds are my shield. Uh, we're going to definitely bring in the overgrown tomb here. We're going to pay the two life and throw the carnage out. Can't counter it, but if you want, I will trade you uh, branch walkers. If you want. You don't have to, but if you want, I'll trade you the branch walker. Okay. It is Viv. My balance comes. I have both Carnage Tyrants in my hand. Like uh, we're going to get the Branch Walker here, and we're going to f find the cans. No point in finding out, and nothing to find. Um, I think we target Viv. Just to prevent them from getting tempo. <laughs> you are, oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? And bring in the second card this time. That's probably gonna be scoops. Their card is tired, okay. And scoops, that's fine. Doing pretty good. Halfway through uh plot tier two. Voice the high cholesterol